Nyerere Hydropower Station is a hydroelectric dam under construction across the Rufiji River in eastern Tanzania. Although controversial, the government approved the plans in 2018. The power station is expected to have an installed capacity of 2,150 megawatts and to produce 5,920 gigawatts of the power annually. The project power station and the dam are owned by and will be managed by the government's own Tanzania Electric Supply Company. Construction began in 2019 and it's expected to be completed in 2024. The government of Tanzania has been considering establishing this power station since 1960s. When completed, the dam will be fourth largest in Africa, the ninth largest in the world, and the largest power station in East Africa. The 134 meters large concrete dam is expected to create a reservoir lake, 100 kilometers in a length, measuring 1,200 square kilometers, with a 34 billion cubic meters of the water. The power station is expected to produce 5,920 gigawatt of the power annually. Main items. Total excavation is about 4 million cubic meters. Total aggregate backlifting is about 7.5 million cubic meters. Total volume of the concrete is about 2.6 million cubic meters. Total weight of the rainforest still is about 64,000 tons. Main dam for storage of water to generate hydropower using RCC concrete for main dam with a total length of 1,025 meters at crest level and a 130 meters dam level. Construction of the four saddle dams for reservoir impounding with water with length of 1.4 km, 7.9 km, 4.6 km and 2.6 km with a maximum high of 21.3 meters, 14 meters, 12.4 meters and 5.4 meters respectively, with a capacity to impound approximately 33 billion cubic meters of water. Construction of the hydropower plant with a capacity of 2,150 megawatts and a substation of 400 kilowatts, in addition to 400 kilowatt transmission lines to the nearest point of the public network. The civil works included the following. Permanent access roads connecting the site with the existing roads network in a length of about 21 kilometers. Temporary access roads that connect all permanent facilities with length of 59 kilometers. Main dam of RCC of Rufiji River, power plant with administration building, control building, workshops and stores. Connecting power station 400 kW including transmission lines, 4 variable high and a length, dams for the water impounding of reservoir diversion tunnel, 660 meters length, and 2 coffer dams. The main spillway is located on the center of the main dam with the 7 radial gates and emergency spillways located in the first saddle permanent concrete bridge off for Fuji River.
integrated residential complex on an area of 19,000 meters, including housing and a playground, permanent furnished offices, in addition to temporary residential complex, utilities, lightning, drinking water, and a water treatment. Main electromechanicals works for the powerhouse. Power plant 21159 vertical Francis turbine. Each turbine capacity is a 235 megabyte. Nine butterfly wells of the entrance. Nine vertical access generators. Water in a savage cooling system. Ventilation, air conditioning, firefighting, and communication systems. Protection, control, and monitoring equipment. Three diesel generators for the power plant, dam, and a spillway. The Stiglitz George Dam financial costs are contested. When Oderbrecht wrote feasibility and design studies for the dam in 2013, they estimated that it would cost about 3.6 billion pounds. The government uses this figure in announcing the new design and feasibility study in 2018. However, Hartman claims that the underlying costs have changed in the price of the concrete and the construction cost and the engineering services. Using contemporary dam cases, the suggest that, after excluding social and environmental mitigation, the current cost estimation should be 7.57 billion US dollars, rising to the 9.8 billion US dollars, if as a conservative amount of the overrun is a factory in. Another race concerns environmental and social impacts. Given in experience, the companies are unlikely to be familiar with the mitigation codes or practice that could limit impacts, stopping dumping of soil in the river or in a handling waste. There are also concerns over dam safety for workers. Given the long history of accidents on dam projects before extra industry efforts in the 21st century.